Hello. Today we'll begin talking about laws. In this case, jazz laws. And there are a few of them. Okay. The first one we'll mention is the Boyle's law. And Boyle's law states that when you when you reduce the volume of a substance, when you reduce the volume of particles, okay, you are increasing the pressure. So reducing the volume, like we see in this picture that I got from a textbook from Glenco textbook, when you reduce the volume, keeping the same amount of particles, you will increase the pressure. And therefore, as we see over here, if volume is reduced, then pressure is increased. Okay. And Boyle's law states that for every pressure one times volume one, I will have pressure two times volume two. And I could rearrange this equation by saying that if I want to solve for pressure one, pressure one equals pressure two, volume two, divided by volume one. In the same token, if I'm solving for volume one, for the first volume given to me, I will consider pressure two, volume two, divided by pressure one. I have two more ways to go over here. If I'm solving for, in this case, pressure two, I will leave that alone, and I go pressure one, volume one, divided by volume two. That gives me pressure two. In the same way, I'm solving for volume two, leave it alone, and I go pressure one times volume one, divided by, in this case, pressure two, and I end up with volume two. Okay, let's review certain things over here. Volume is measured in something liters, milliliters, anything to do with liters, that's volume, or a measurement of a distance times uh, cubed, so meters cubed, centimeters cubed. Um, pressure, as we saw in other videos in the past, is measured in either ATMs, millimeters of mercury, um, PSI, torque, okay. So let's look at a sample question and let's solve it out. The question says the volume of a gas at 101.0 kPa, that's the pressure, that's, that's the pressure, not volume. The volume is 300 milliliters. The volume of a gas at a pressure of 101 kPa is 300 milliliters. If the pressure is increased to 214 kPa, now I see that this is pressure two because it was increased to this, therefore this is pressure one, and this would be volume one. What would be the new volume? New volume I'm looking for, which is volume two. Let's make things easy. I will begin by making a list of what I have. Pressure one, volume one, pressure two, volume two. Okay, let's see what else we have. I am given 101 kPa, which I saw in the question, I am given 300 milliliters. I am given 214 kPa, which is pressure two. And the question says, what's the new volume, volume two? Original equation for Boyle's law is P1 V1 equals P2 volume two. I need to be careful that the pressure is in the same type of measurement. In this case, it's kPa for both. My answer in this case would be milliliters because that's what's given to me. I rearrange the equation, leaving volume two alone because that's what I'm looking for. Pressure one times volume one divided by pressure two gives you volume two. Let's plug in those values. 101 kPa times 300 milliliters of mercury divided by 214 kPa. If I were to cancel kPa over kPa, the only unit left that I have in this equation is milliliters, which is what I'm looking for, volume. Therefore, if I multiply 101.0 kPa or 101.0, just that, times 300 milliliters divided by 214, I would end up with 141.6 milliliters. 
okay which was the new volume for this question i hope this helps you